everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Min, if you haven't known yet. Today's video will be very special. I'll be showing you how I customise my MacBook. Let's start off by showing you the MacBook itself. This is the MacBook Air with the M1 chip and it is in the gold colour and I actually have a case on it. It's a beautiful marble case and it has a Apple logo cut out and it looks like this. The back is clear and I really like that because you can still get the gold colour. These are white. Now let me show you the inside of the Mac. The Mac looks like this and I have a white keyboard. It's actually a very light pink colour but it looks like white on camera. So let me start screen recording. Uh, there it is. So this is how my Mac looks when it's unlocked. And I have this, in my opinion, really pretty collage wallpaper. And I really love it because it's so aesthetic and it's bright. So when I wake up to do online schooling, I feel like my day will be way more happier when I see something really bright. So now I'll be telling you how I created this collage. All I did is go into a browser, which in mine is Google Chrome. Open up something called Pinterest and then it should come up and then you can just search up whatever you want to you can have any kind of one you can have aesthetic themed or you can also have just summer scene you can have whatever you want or you can also have fall anything whatever you want so all you have to do you can start off by doing as many images as you want to one of mine's on the left bottom is a aesthetic image so all I did was write aesthetic background or I can write aesthetic image and there will be so many to choose from I'm going to go ahead and choose this beautiful thing and then you can drag it and drop it onto your desktop which is really easy so now you can choose as many as you want once you've chose as many as you want to go ahead and click on your next tab and then go to Canva and then click onto the top one and you can log in and so I'm now logged in and then there's something that says create a design and then there's things that say custom dimensions, start with an image and a lot more and then all you have to write is desktop and if you really write desk it should already come up and you already have everything there. And that's one thing I love about Canva. They already have so many designs. And also if you do want other things, you can just go ahead and find other images there. But to make a collage, click on to Uploads. And then go to Upload Media. And there's so many you can do. And then you have as many choices as you want to have. And let's just go with the flower I saw earlier. Okay, so now I have my flower and I also have some other images. So let me show you one of them, which was this. You can drag it and then you can also drop it in. And you can do whatever sizes you want. And you can also have some of this coffee with ice. And I think it looks really satisfying and cool. So I have that there. And I also have this warm hot chocolate because I love hot chocolate. And I think it's really cute. Once you've made your collage, go ahead and save it by going onto file and then save it. But you can also have as many photos as you want to. You don't have to necessarily have a collage in whatever way I'm doing it. You can have as many photos as you want and you can have them as cute as you want to have them. Now, Canva do have some other images there if you write aesthetic, but you sometimes do have to pay. So that's why I really love using Pinterest as I think they give you so many options to use. So I'm just going to continue selecting some images. Okay, so I only have a few more images and I'm just going to pick a few more. And I think that should be enough. I might have one more image because it's really up to you. You can have as many photos as you want. So I think that's pretty much good enough. Just gonna crop this one one more time. And here it is. Now all you have to do is click on to download. And then there's something that says 
as a PNG. That's the one, and you download it. And then there's be something that says preparing your design, and it's really, really easy to download. And so many things, especially if you drag and drop, it's all completely free. And then click on it to it, and then you can save it to wherever you want. Wow, that was super duper easy. Now all you have to do is go into your desktop, wherever it is, click with two fingers, and then do share and add to photos. And then it should be added to your photos. And here is this image. All you have to do is now press the share button and do set desktop picture. Here is your image. That is how it looks like. But obviously I really love the one I made before, so I'm going to change back to that one. You can spend as much time as you want doing this, and I think it's not that hard, it's kind of easy as well. So I think this is something really nice and bright. So now I'll be telling you how I made my shortcuts onto Safari. On my left side, I have a bunch of these circles, and they are all shortcuts that really help me throughout the day. And I have one that says YouTube, Safari, School, Instagram, Apple, and Amazon. And of course, you can have as many as you want. And you can have them in any order, but I wanted to go for an aesthetic theme because it's a gold laptop and I love things that are aesthetic. So all you have to do is open up Chrome, search in anything you want to do. Let's say I want to do my YouTube account, or you can do Netflix or Amazon. So I'm going to go to Amazon, and then you just have to press Command, and then you can add C, and that will copy it, and then add here, and then you can have as many as you want to. Click on to add shortcut. Then you can name your shortcut. I'll just press Amazon two because I already have one and you can name it whatever you want and then you have to press command V to paste it. Press done and you will know that it's there so when you click onto it it will automatically come up to Amazon. Now all you have to do is drag and drop that shortcut onto your desktop and then go onto your and then go onto your bar and then afterwards all you have to do is type the image. So I'm going to write aesthetic YouTube or whatever one you want aesthetic and then Amazon logo and there are literally so many designs you can pick from let me show you the one I picked but I might show you another one as well so you can have whatever kind of one you want and so let's pick this one it's really cute and drag it and drop it now click, double click onto your image and then press onto markup and then you can go onto this what's right here and then you can click onto elliptical selection so easy and then that's all you have to do and think of a circle whatever way you want to you can also select it as a heart if you're having if you have an apple pencil and you connect it you can have a smart lasso or any kind of one but I did elliptical and I think that's a perfect circle and just quickly model it one more time and I think that's great click onto your crop and it says convert this document to PNG and you're done then press edit or command A and then select all and then press command C to copy or go to edit and copy it now I'm going to go ahead and go into my Amazon 2, press with two fingers, and then press onto get info, which means get information. Now you have to press command B, or you can paste it, and here is your Amazon logo. You can move it wherever you want to, and I have mine all on this side. So now you have your Amazon, click onto it, and you're already there. Simple, easy, and also if you're late to something, late to work, or it's online schooling and it's kind of tiring and you just forgot your password or something like that you can click onto it and if you do have your touch ID saved or your 
password save. It's so easy. All you have to do is click onto it and you're into the website. Super cool, right? Now I'll be showing you how I made my note on this side. So I think to-do lists are one of my most helpful things and I think they really really help me every single day. And as I said I go on my mat pretty much every day because I use it for online schooling, editing, conference calls and much more. And I love using it because of the big screen. But what if you forget to do things throughout the day? And that's the best thing about it if you have stickies and notes and to-do lists. Because if you have the app stickies you can do so many things with your notes. And right here I have a to-do list. So all you have to do is go onto your launch pad and then click onto something that says search or if you know where stickies app is, go there. And then there's something that says stickies. And here it is. So now you have to click onto stickies and then go onto something that says file. New note. Here I have a brand new note. It's yellow. And it's really big. So all you have to do is go to the corner or the side and shrink it or make it bigger. Now you can type whatever you want to. Let's just write anything on there. So all you have to do is select it and then go to edit. To font and then bigger. And that is way bigger already. So let's make it as big as you want and you can also press command plus that makes it big and then you can also change your font by going to font and then show fonts and apple have so many fonts you can use already so you can have as many as you want you can have some chalk ones, you can have one to look really cute and rounded, which is the one I have at the moment. And you can also have as many fonts as you want. You can also add fonts, so that's something extremely cool as well. So let's pick one. Okay, let's just do this for now. And that's how you look like. And then you can just go to the next one and write more things. And you can also change the color by pressing onto color and they give you a selection of colors. And then you can make a purple. And that is how you make one of your notes. I actually have something that says hello here. And I put my note on top because I think it looked like a really cute frame. So now I'll be telling you how I made my folders become daisies. So all I did was open up my browser which is Google Chrome and write cartoon flower PNG. When I wrote that, I clicked on the images and found my flower. Now you don't necessarily have to have a flower, you can have a star, or whatever you want. Or if it's related to your folder, you can have a school one, if it's books maybe, or you can have whatever you want. So what I did was click onto it, and then clicked onto mark up and then I went onto this wand and selected the background. The reason why I made it PNG was when you selected it the whole black background will only go. Nothing else will go other than the background. Then I pressed the delete key and pressed convert to PNG. Now I didn't find it that appealing just to see the flower alone in white so I did make it have a yellow circle in the middle. All I did was click onto shapes and then got a circle. I filled in the circle but I got rid of the outline and I filled it to a bright yellow colour. The reason why I did it to yellow because I really wanted to have a daisy and daisies have a middle which is yellow. So then all you have to do was Put your middle circle and give it the wand and then we're going to put it on top. And you can also make it as small as you want to but I just fit mine in like this. And so I think that's really easy and I think it makes the page as well brighter than just having a normal just white circle. 
and I think that really helped when customizing my Mac. So that is how I made it. Then I went and pressed Command A, which is select all, and then Command C. And I had to press Get Info, and then paste it. And so that's how my flower looked like. And I think it's pretty much easy to make. That's it for my customization of my MacBook Air with the M1 chip. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to put a thumbs up as well as to subscribe and ring that bell because then something really nice will happen. You will be notified each time I premiere or upload a brand new video. And so I hope you do those and I'll see you soon. Bye!